Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set the intonation on your bass. So a few weeks ago, I made a video showing you how to set up your bass, how to adjust the truss rod, how to adjust the action on the bridge, all that stuff. And there were a few comments on that video of people asking, how do you set up the intonation? And what was surprising is that a lot of the people who left those comments seem to think that setting up the intonation is actually harder than setting up your truss rod in your action and that's really not the case at all intonation is very very simple once you understand what's going on so we're going to be covering that right now so this bass right now is in standard tuning so if i play the open g string that's just a g right now if i fret a note let's say the third fret right here i'm going to get an a sharp i'm going to get a higher pitch than the open string now why is that because when you fret a note, what you're doing is you're making the string length shorter and that makes the pitch higher. What do I mean? So when you play the open string, your string length is going from the nut right here all the way to the bridge saddle right here. This is the length of your string. Now if I fret the third fret, your string is now going from this fret right here to the saddle on the bridge here so it's a shorter length than this right you're losing this whole length right here and in the case of a fretted bass it doesn't matter where you fret it as long as you're behind the fret because the string length as long as you're behind the fret is always going to go from the fret to the bridge saddle this is why if you're playing a fretless bass in order to get perfect intonation you want to fret it right where the fret would be because that's the correct string length to get that pitch. If you were a little behind, then the string would be longer than it should be and your note would be flat. So the idea with intonation is that you want to set the string length perfectly to where all the notes you fret are the actual pitch that you want. And we can move this bridge saddle forward or backward by adjusting the screw that's right behind the bridge over here. So it's it gonna be different in every base. This one is just a regular Phillips screw, so you can just use a regular screwdriver. And if I tighten that screw, then this saddle is gonna move back and the string is gonna get longer. And if I loosen the screw, it's gonna do the opposite. The saddle is gonna go forward and the string is gonna get shorter. And as you can see right now, I have the saddle way in front of the other ones and I did that on purpose because I want this intonation to be off so that I can show you guys how to set the correct intonation. So the idea with the string length to get perfect intonation is that you want this 12th fret to be exactly the halfway point of the string. So if I go from here to here and I find the exact halfway point of that distance, I want it to be the 12th fret because if that happens, then the 12th fret is going to be an octave which is what we want. We want this to be the G, an octave above the open G. And for that to happen, this has to be the exact halfway point of the string. So how do we check that? How do we do that? So there's two different ways you can do it. You can either do it with your ear or you can do it with the tuner. So with your ear, what you're gonna do is you're gonna find that harmonic, which is the octave. You're going to play that harmonic, listen to that, and then you're going to play the fretted note and see if the pitches match. If they sound the same, then your intonation is perfect. If it's sharp or flat, then your intonation is off and you have to adjust it. So that's the first way is with your ear. Just play the octave. And the harmonic is always going to be the right pitch because you're not messing with string length, right? It's just a harmonic. As long as you can find that harmonic, it's always going to be the octave, it's always gonna be the right pitch. So you just take that, listen to it, play the fretted note, listen to it, and that's using your ear. Now the other way to do it, and the way that I recommend, just to make sure you're exactly right on the note you wanna be on, is using a tuner, and that's what we're gonna do right now. So I have this tuner right here, and if I play the open G, we see that it's pretty much right on, right? Perfectly in tune. Now if I fret the 12th fret right here, you see that it's sharp, so we're off. So that means that our string length is incorrect, it's way too short, and we have to lengthen the string length in order to get this 12th fret here 
to be a G. And in order to make the string longer, what we have to do is take this screw right here and tighten it. So I'm turning this clockwise and it's actually gonna make the saddle on the bridge move back, as you can see. And that's gonna make the string longer and it should fix the issue of that note going sharp. Now you just do it a little bit at a time. So now I moved it back a little bit. I made the string longer. Let's see where we're at now. First I'm gonna play the open string to make sure that this is still in tune. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Now let's play the fretted note. So I'm closer, but I'm still not quite there. So you wanna do a little bit at a time, depending on how off you are. And then um, you can just keep going if you need to do it more. So let me do it a little bit more here. Let's try that. So again, I'm gonna play the open string just to make sure. Okay, and now the fretted. Getting closer, still not there, a little bit more. And there we go. Now everything should be in tune, see? And that's all there is to it. That's how you set up the intonation on your bass. So if the note when you fret it on the 12th fret is too sharp, that means that your string is too short and you have to make it longer. So you're gonna do that by moving the bridge saddle back towards the bridge. And you do that by turning the screw clockwise. So you're tightening it and this is moving back. And if it's too flat, you just do the opposite. So you're gonna turn the screw counterclockwise to bring this saddle this way and make the string shorter. And every base is a little bit different. This one is just a Phillips screw, so just a regular screwdriver. I've seen a few where it's an Allen wrench, but it should be either a screwdriver or an Allen wrench, so tools that you pretty much have at home. Very, very simple and easy to do. And if you haven't seen the video where I show you how to set up the truss rod and the action on the bridge, I'll leave it linked in the description box or put it on the card of this video so you can go check that out as well. So I hope this was helpful. I hope this helped you better understand intonation, how it works, and how you can set it up on your bass. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down in the comment of the video and I'll be happy to answer it for you. And with that being said, I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks.